Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having an amazing day. It's been a while, but here I am, and we will go with full power from now on. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to record your computer display screen using OBS free software. The reason we are learning this because, it will be extremely essential for our next tutorial. So please don't skip this tutorial for the sake of our upcoming tutorial and, learning new things will help you in lot of ways. OBS is free screen recording software for all platforms like Windows, Mac, and Linux. You can download and learn to use it by watching this tutorial. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Open your web browser and type in OBS. I will put the website link in the description. Please use it to download the OBS software. Now we have three different platform which we can download. Since I'm using Windows I will download the Windows version. After the download finished, double click on the file and select install. Click OK to launch OBS. Here we have a two option, whether to manually change the settings or automatic configuration. We will choose the automatic configuration click yes. Again we have two option, we can choose to record streaming like Twitch, or we can choose to record our display screen. Click on the second option and click next. Since my monitor resolution is 1080 I will leave it as it is. You can also choose to record your second monitor by choosing the below option. You can choose the frame rate of your record as per your computer specification. I will choose the second option and click next. As you see these are our final OBS configuration. You can always change this by clicking the back button or go to settings at any given moment. It shows that our output resolution is 720 pixels. Since I'm using the 1080 pixel display, we will change it in the settings later on. Click apply settings. Now we have these four panels, scenes, sources, audio mixer and controls. Scene is nothing but holder for sources, go to source panel and click on the plus icon. Here we have many option, we will choose the display capture option. I will name this as monitor capture 1. Click OK. It is necessary to create a new source to record our display. As you see this panel showing the preview of our display as it's going to be recorded. If you have multiple display attached to your PC, you can always change it here. Once you select the desired display to record click OK. In the source you can see two option near monitor capture. You can hide the preview of the display by clicking on the eye icon. The lock option is to lock the preview of your display. You can minimize the size of the preview and lock it in that place by clicking the lock icon. This will be helpful if you have multiple display. We can always create a new scene and create new source for to record game. The reason for creating new scenes and new sources you can always change the settings for different scenario. You can use the second scene for gaming and change its settings to your gaming specification. By creating different settings we can choose to record the gaming or display or streaming without changing any settings. In the audio mixer panel we have two option. One is desktop audio and other is our microphone audio. You can increase or decrease the sound of your microphone or desktop. You also change the device by clicking this gear icon.
Once you selected your audio device we will move on to our scene transition, we don't need it now so we will skip this panel. In the controls panel we have different options, record streaming or stream or record display and settings. We will go to settings, here we can change all the settings of OBS as we like. Just go through over the general settings and you can see many options to customize our OBS. I will leave the general settings as default. Go to output and here we have the recording settings, we will change the output folder where our recorded video will be saved. In the render quality we will choose the high quality and medium file size option since we don't want our recorded file size to be in terabytes. Our file format is in MKV but I will change it to MP4, that way it will be easier to edit. In the encoder just leave it to default. Click apply. If you want more option, you can do it by changing the output mode from simple to advanced. Here we have more advanced option to change around and set it as we like. Go to audio option and here you can change your desktop audio, which means whatever that plays on your PC while recording. The audio will also be recorded, and change the microphone if you connected it to your PC. Once you satisfied with your changes click on the apply. Now go to video settings and here as you see we have the output resolution is in 720p. I told you at the beginning that whatever your display size is, change it accordingly. I will change it to my display size as 1080 pixels, click OK. In the hotkeys we can use it to set a key on our keyboard to start, pause and stop recording. Click on the start recording and I will press number 1 on my keyboard, and to stop I will press number 2. You can use any key on your keyboard to set it as your shortcut. To pause record I will use number 3. Once you done click apply. In the advanced settings, you can change the file names of the recorded videos and it will be saved in that order. Once you finished click OK. Now we are ready to record our display. Click the start recording, as you see our recording is started. Now minimize the OBS, and do whatever you want on your PC display and it will be recorded completely. Once you done go to OBS and click on the stop recording option or you can pause the record for some time and resume it as you left. Since we changed your pause and stop shortcut key as number 2 and 3, I will press number 2 on my keyboard to stop the recording. As you click on the stop recording option our recorded video will be saved in the designated folder. Go to file and select show recording. As you see our recorded video is here, click on it and see the video. And just like that we now know how to record your display and edit it as you want. We are going to use our OBS to record our display on our next tutorial, and that is why it is essential to know how to do it. We finally at the end of our tutorial, I hope you learned to record your PC screen, 
because we will be using this software in our next tutorial. I know I haven't uploaded a video in a while, but I will make up to it by giving you more amazing tutorials from now on. Please look forward to it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any doubt please feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.